Hello, welcome to Wake Up and Make Up. My name is Jennifer Olsey and I'm a top leader with Avon. And we are going to do a makeup tutorial and talk about the top things I have learned while on um, isolation. We are on day 12 here at the Olsey household and it has been an adventure for sure. I don't know if adventure is the word I would use, but it's been something. So um, I'm going to go ahead and dive in and share with you guys our daily skincare regimen using Zika peptide for a facelift in a bottle and to also help with those pores. Of course, our Belief Aqua Balm is helping put some moisture back in that face and minimize those pores. And it has a built-in primer, which is fabulous. And then depuffing eye serum for those under eye bags because, well, I can't sleep at night. <laughs> I don't know what the deal is. So we're going to go ahead now and hop in with makeup. Good morning, Caden. I hope you're doing good. I love you. He's in the living room watching me. <laughs> okay. We're going to use our VDL Luminaire um, Primer to prime this face and get it ready for our all-day wear makeup because, you know, um... The UPS guy may come and see me today. Who knows? I actually do get to get out of the house. We have to go pick up schoolwork today. And so we have to drive through a line and put our kid's name on a piece of paper on the window. And we drive to, the, they're going to radio it to the person at the end. And we get to the end, they're going to hand us our packet. That's what I understand. I guess they're going to like stick it through the window or something. I don't I don't know. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> Who knows how this is going to work out. Okay, so we are primed and dry. So let's hop into the foundation. I'm loving the new Cashmere Complexion in Cannoli. And it comes with this neat little wand here. I'm just going to stick it on my hand because I don't want to apply this directly to my face. And my hands are clean because I washed them a million times a million times so let's talk about the things that we have learned while being on isolation number one you need a good hand cream because washing your hands nine million times a day will make them raw so thank god for our i'm gonna pull this back just a little bit thank god for our skin so soft or our silicone glove because it puts like a barrier on your hands and it makes them soft again because oh my gosh I think I wash my hands nine million times a day and I thought I washed my hands a lot before this so anybody else with me are you feeling like your hands are dry and cracking because you're washing them so much other thing I think is we're using probably more like um, Clorox wipes and stuff to wipe down um, door handles and stuff like that than normal. So that may also be playing a role in, um, you know, your hands feeling kind of cracked and dry. Okay. So that is number one thing that I've learned. Number two, are y'all ready for this? Oh, I forgot. I need to say an apology. Yesterday, I was talking about adult diapers and how... They had been wiped off the shelf and people were using them because they didn't have toilet paper. I was making a joke and I said that, oh, that's gross. I don't want to be around you. And I need to apologize because I know that there are some people that have to wear um, adult diapers because either you're like my kids and you're incontinent. Maybe you have some kind of health issue or um, incontinence issue that keeps you from being able to um, hold your bowel or bladder. And I didn't mean to offend anyone by that comment. So please forgive me. I apologize. And I did not mean to offend anyone. It was not my intention at all. I got a comment that someone was offended and I didn't mean to do that. So I'm sorry. And I was just making a joke. And so I love you all. And I don't mean to offend anybody. Good morning, Deborah. How are you? Good. Hi, Angelica. Hi, guys. Okay, so number one thing I've learned is wash your hand when you wash your hands all the time. Be sure and have a good hand cream because your hands get like dry and rough and all that good stuff. Have you guys picked that up too? Okay, number two, 
I really need to clean and sterilize. This is um, tart. Clean and sterilize my house more because I found during this isolation on 12 days that I am cleaning out closets and I've cleaned out some drawers, my pantry, and I'm like, man, my house, I thought it was clean. It's like not clean. So I need to do this more often, not just when I'm on isolation. Anybody else with me? Are you finding things in drawers that you forgot you had? Like we've only been in our house four years and I'm like, holy crap. <laughs> Where did all of this stuff come from? So that is one thing I've learned during isolation. Have you guys learned that? What are you doing to make your cleaning schedule more simple? So what I did was I sat down and made a list. I'm just kind of patting that in with my finger. I sat down and made a list of things I wanted to clean out during this time. So like uh, my junk drawer, my pantry, my closet, the boys closet. And so what I'm trying to do is every day tackle something that I want to do on my list. My bathroom drawers is next. <sighs> Y'all, it's so full of stuff. I put a um, guideline here in the group for when to get rid of like different skincare products and cos uh, cosmetic stuff so that it will help you guys if you're doing a bathroom clean out. So go like that post. Hi, Crystal. Good morning, Deborah. Good morning, Deborah. We have lots of Debras. We have to wash our hands every two hours at work. So you already need a good hand cream. Silicone glove, Deborah, is a great, um, it has a barrier in it, and it also helps with dry skin. So that is just a tip for you if you are looking for a good hand cream. Okay, so you guys share this video if you're watching live with me. Share so that somebody else can learn some of these tips. Okay, so number one was um, good hand cream. Number two, I need to clean and sterilize my house more. How about you? If you're with me, throw up some hearts. Let me know. Hey, yeah, I'm with you, girl. Okay, number three, my urge to go, oh, no. My children are animals and teachers are way underpaid. I mean, we go through summer every year, right? But we're not really trying to do a curriculum or any kind of learning program with them in the summer. And I know even in the summer that they get a little wild and crazy. But oh my gosh, Lucas was trying to help take chairs off the tables in one of my cleaning frenzies when I vacuumed and mopped the floor 40 times a day and dropped the chair, broke, uh, hit the wall, made a picture frame fall off the wall and broke it. I'm like, oh my gosh. And then yesterday he comes running in the living room real quick and he jumps on the back of the chair on the back of the couch and flips himself over. I mean, for your typical kids, that might not be a big deal, but he's not really well balanced. And he thought that was the funniest thing in the world. So then he goes back again and he does it again. I'm like, child, quit. You are going to break something. And we can't go to the hospital because I'm not taking you to the hospital because I'm not picking up the coronavirus. <laughs> I'm like, y'all are animals. And teachers are way underpaid. So that was one thing I've learned. A uh, transformation contour stick. We're going to contour. You ready? That's my dog. He's not happy. Apparently, he's ready to go outside. And I'm not hurrying fast enough. Cooper. Okay. I'm going to do a little here. Okay, so anybody else figured out that their kids are animals during this, train this time? Okay, number... Four, we need to spend more quality time as a family. So we have really been taking this time in the evenings to go and do um, just ride the four wheelers out at the farm, ride the golf carts, um, get the boys out and get more vitamin C, vitamin D, whatever we get from the sun. One of those vitamins. I know y'all are going to help me out there. Let me know what that is. <laughs> um, but just enjoying outside and the pretty weather. And, you know, I think that we take for granted time with our families. We've played some games. Um, we've taught them how to help do chores around the house. <clears throat> Sorry. I'm just blending this with my beauty blender so that you can still see the shadows, but I don't want you to see those plain lines. <clears throat> so, you know, we need to spend more time as a family, not glued to our devices and to the television or out running 50 million errands, 
but really spending quality time with our family. And that's been something that I take away that I've really enjoyed, um, getting to spend more quality time with all of us. Um, I'm down my last two. You better get you some more, girlfriend. That stuff is good. I've had too much extra energy that needs to be released. Okay, so we started an indoor workout program. <laughs> So we are throwing the ball back and forth. We're walking around our bar several times, making laps. So if you can't get outside, maybe find something that you can do inside to um, burn some of that energy. Maybe walking laps, doing setups, push-ups. You aren't going to catch me doing those things, but you could do it. I mean, <laughs> I'm not saying that uh, I wouldn't ever, but. Not currently on my on my workout plan. <laughs> Just move your body. Move your body some way. Walk in circles and do jumping jacks. I mean, something just to move your body and get that energy out. Okay. There is some translucent loose powder for you sweet, sweet people. Okay, here we go. Next thing I've learned is we need to spend more time in prayer in our Bibles. Um, you know... If this thing has taught us anything, hold on just a second. I do not have the coronavirus. I have seasonal allergies. Now, I don't know why God let both of those be in the same season. Because people look at me crazy if I have to blow my nose. Sorry. It's seasonal allergies. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm using Chocolate Sensations iQuad. You can tell this is a well-loved iQuad. Um, while I'm going through these in the comment section... Y'all share with me some things that you've learned while you're on isolation from the coronavirus. I'd be interested to see your takeaways. But in our daily homeschool regimen, we have um, put Bible study and we're doing a devotion together every day. And I think it's important. You know, I think in this time in our nation, more people are turned to the Lord and to scripture and to whatever their belief system is and really pressing into that. And, you know, if we would do that every day, just imagine how much easier your days would be. I really think that, you know, keeping our eyes focused on God, that he has a plan and a purpose, will help us all to feel better in this whole situation. Okay, I should have told you this. I use that lattice shade on the top part of my eyes. Um, so, I think that that's something that we need to make sure and institute as a family every day. I mean, we, we eat dinner together and we pray together on a regular basis, but this is something that we are going to make sure that we're doing every day. Um, I keep getting all these private messages. Okay. I'm using number two here and we're working that crease. Cooper, you're fine. I'll let you out in just a minute. You're the one that was nosy and came in here with mom. My dog. He's nosy. He likes to know where I am. Okay. So I think probably one of the other things that I've learned during this um, isolation, shut down business. Do y'all see how I'm just kind of working that in? And then I'm going to go in with number three. And I'm going to blend this bottom part. I'm just going to blend this all together. Blend, blend, blend. Okay, my urge to go to Sam's once a month and stock up on toilet paper and paper towels has proved to be beneficial. My husband has made fun of me because we will still have like, I don't know, two packages of 12 left and I still go to Sam's and buy more toilet paper and paper towels every month. And I'm, I've always told him I'm doing it because, okay, I have to let him out because he's driving me crazy. He's driving me crazy. I have to do it because we pay every month for a Sam's membership and I don't want to waste that membership. And so I'm going to go to Sam's and get my toilet paper, paper towels. Well, guess what? I had done that the week before all of this craze happened. Um, gone on my normal run and he's thankful now that I am a toilet paper and paper towel hoarder because we have plenty and I didn't have to rush out and find any. So, I said, his friend was down to like four rolls and we sent a package to him. And I said, now tell him 
how thankful you are that your wife is a paper towel and toilet paper hoarder. And he was like, oh, I have to admit it. I was like, mm-hmm, now you have to admit it. That's not such a bad thing. Anybody else a hoarder of things? Um, I have a friend that is a couponer. And she has an entire basement full of food, cleaning products, hand soap, toilet paper, paper towels. And she's gotten it for like little and nothing. And, you know, we've always kind of kidded around with her. And she was like, I bet y'all are proud of me. Look at me now. She was like, y'all are all scrounging out there for, oh. Okay, I'm using my Extend -a Lash Liquid Eyeliner. But she's like, people are out there scrounging around for all these things that I've already got stored up in my basement for my kids. And I don't have to go to the store. I was like, well, aren't you fancy? I'm going to learn to coupon. I'm going to get me one of them stockpiles like she's got because I need one of those in my life now. Anybody else? Anybody else with me? Okay, I got to get this. Yes, I make mistakes too. Far from perfect when it comes to makeup. Buying your toilet paper has paid off. Yes, it has paid off for me. And I got my husband to quit making fun of me. That was another big plus on that one. <laughs> okay, we're going to curl these lashes. You guys be sure and share this video. Somebody else may have some funny things to share with us. So what is something that you've learned during isolation? We've got several viewers on. Somebody's got to have learned something. Love mascara. Is going to go on these lashes another thing I've learned is if I will just get up and get dressed put my makeup on I'm a lot more productive in my house and taking care of my kids and doing homeschool and all those kind of things working because I feel better if I get up and get dressed and that's what Oprah used to say I think it was one of her quotes if you want to be productive, get up, get dressed, and make things happen. Even if you aren't leaving the house. I mean, most days I don't leave the house. I may put my makeup on for y'all, but I still have my yoga pants on. But that's okay. Because we're still up, and we're still dressed, and we're still tackling the day. And I'm still doing conference calls and Zoom trainings and stuff from home with my team. So they don't have to know that I have yoga pants on. They just know that I have my makeup on and a cute shirt. So I'm still hustling with Grace over here. And that's another thing. Working from home with your kids is not easy. If any of you are telecommuting, maybe you work in office typically, and now you're at home working and your kids are at home and you're like losing your mind, welcome to my summer, every summer. <laughs> it is just chaotic. Um, and you want to, this is tenacious, and you want to not neglect spending time with your kids. So you're kind of like torn. Do I get this work done or do I do this with the kids? So I keep a schedule. Like in the mornings, I try to do our homeschool stuff and get all those activities done. And then the afternoons, I can take care of what I need to take care of for work. Um, I'm in isolation due to being a hospital employee. Oh, Deborah, were you exposed? Oh, that's horrible. So I guess that's important. This is tenacious in the matitude. I guess that's important to say too. We are in isolation because the boys um, are have autoimmune deficiency and we choose to be in isolation. But there's some people like Deborah, who is an employee of the hospital who's on it because I guess you were ordered on it. Mm, share more details with us. That is sad. I'm sorry that you're going through that. Okay, I did Tenacious in the lipstick, and I'm going to use the Rose Gold and the Glimmer Kiss to add just a little bit of glimmer. We need a little glimmer in our lives. How about that? You can see how these blend. I'm going to go... This little spot right here is driving me crazy. Is that driving you crazy? Let me share your share with you guys a little tip. If your makeup, if your lipstick tends to get out of line, take a Q-tip and just clean it up, just like that. It's gone. Yay! 
So these are the things that I have learned while on isolation by choice. I'm going to make that clear. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Deborah. I'm praying for you and praying for your safety and for your health. Um, and thank you guys all for watching. Please share this video. Somebody else may need something to crack up at or laugh at how I did my makeup or, you know, something like that. Um, oh, you know what? We forgot blush. We should do blush. We are going to use Earthen Rose. And we're going to just kind of work on top. Can you see that contour line? So I'm going to show you how to kind of blend that with your blush. Just taking a little bit here. And just kind of working that on top of that. So there's my contour line. And on top of that, I'm doing my blush. So it just kind of all works together. There we go. We are ready to face the day in our pajamas or yoga pants. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to shop for these products, you can do so at your avon.com slash jwilsey or with the representative that shared this video with you. Um, she will share her link up above. We have 450 representatives on my team that are watching and sharing this video so that their customers can see all of these great Avon products. So thank you for your support of small businesses and from work from for work from home moms because we appreciate it. And I hope that you all have a fantastic day. Stay strong, wash your hands, and don't hoard toilet paper. Bye guys.